Greetings my friends, I'm back, it's me Chad and I will show you today how to customize your Laravel view I mean this registration page so you can add more uh, fields here uh, let's say for example if you want to add telephone number or address and so on and so forth if you recall in our part 2 video tutorial of Laravel 5.2 I showed you how to create an app quickly create an app with registration password retrieval and login using the artisan command artisan make out this time I'm going to show you how to customize it uh, to fit your requirements so let's say your boss told you to create or add an additional field here in the registration page to store the telephone number so how are we going to do that so that is what I'm going to show you today first you're going to uh, check that when you use uh, the command artisan make all it will generate files that will be used by the registration login and password retrieval correct so if you recall inside your app folder you have this HTTP folder this is where the controllers are stored so if you notice we have this old folder this is what is created this is the file that was created by the artisan make old command so we have here the old controller which manages the storing of information the validation and password controller is for password retrieval and login of course so if you are going to open this file you can see here that we have the validator function and the create user function and then if you're going to open this password controller you're going to see here the receipt password and the middleware that is being used basically you cannot see how how the login process is done because it's in this uh, file but if you want to see of course you can go to your vendors and open this file and then you will see how it works so for now we are going to focus on adding the field don't worry I will also add another video of this to explain this further but as of now I'm going to show you how to quickly add a field in this registration page okay so first thing to do is of course find the view file how are we going to find the view file we're going to go to the practice laravel folder and go to resources you must uh, remember that resources is where your views are located and uh, app folder http is where all your controllers are stored and also in the app folder is where your model are located also model files so let's go back to the resources and click the views because we are going to first edit the view this you what you see here is the view okay basically view is equivalent to the front end of your website it's where your HTML code is stored so when you go here and go to the old folder you will see here the uh, register that played that PHP file which is the template of this registration page and the login that played that PHP which is also the template of the login page okay so since we are going to edit the view of the registration page we're going to open this file the register that played that PHP here as you can see I will close this other two first so you will not be confused as you can see this HTML code here together with some blade codes is actually this one that you're seeing here right now so if you notice we have the name we also have the name the email this one and the password so if we are going to insert a field here below the name that will store the telephone number it will be easy you just need to copy this block of code this block of code is for the name correct so I'm going to copy this 
and I'm going to paste it here okay so if you're going to save this and refresh this part you will notice that it will actually add another field here that is similar to the name so then we're going to rename or rename or change the the name uh, information because we're going to save it as a telephone right so we're going to replace this with telephone place it with telephone telephone and telephone and this one telephone and this one telephone and then save when you save and refresh you will see that it's now a telephone and then if you're going to check this part if you're going to inspect the element in your chrome you will see that it's now called I mean the input now is named telephone okay value is empty and so on and so forth so first step is completed that is modification of the view the next step of course will be updating the controller files so that it will really process the, the the value of this field that is being passed to the controller when you click the register so which is uh, which one or what file to edit to modify the controller for storing the user so basically you go to practice laravel and then go to the app folder and then the http folder and then the controllers and then the out folder as you can see here if you're going to go there then here you'll see there are two controllers as i've uh, told earlier alt controller is the one that creates users and validates also the fields that being in or being processed so basically this is what we are looking for so we're going to open this and there if you notice we have the name, the email, and the password for the validation, meaning to say this function here will validate whatever whatever value that is being uh, forward to the controller for the name, email, and password. So if it fails, it will return an error here. If you notice in our uh, view, we have this part which means if there there are errors that are being returned by the the old controller it will display it okay so <clears throat> here we have the create function which creates the user it means when all validations are correct or mean return all correct values it will then process for creation so it will forward the value of the name to the name column of the data table of the table email and so on and so forth so since we're going to add a telephone we are of course going to add here telephone I mean to say we also want to validate the telephone that it must be for example if you want it to be required and then if the maximum value a uh, character should not exceed 255 okay don't forget to add comma uh, encoding so, uh, mistakes like missing commas or colons or etc will really cause a lot of trouble okay so now we have it validated and of course we're going to add it in the creation or in the create function that it so that it will also store the uh, the value so let's say type telephone and then that one data telephone and comma so make sure that everything is there I mean correct format of array is being done because if you missing uh, if you're going to miss something like that it will cause an error or that it will also cause an error okay so now we have modified the controller okay so that is step two 
Step 3 is we are going to modify also our model file so that it will accept the value of the telephone. Okay? So how are we going to do that? We are going to go to our model file which is this one. And then we are going to add here the telephone. If you notice it's a protected fillable meaning to say these columns you can add values. If it's not here even if you type values here and then click register even if your controller is correct but it's not here then it will not save the value okay so let's add telephone then save and last but not the least of course we have created or we have modified all the files that are necessary but we must also add a column in our database so if you notice, this is our sample database that we created. In the users table, we only have column for name, email, password. So we don't have telephone. So we're going to edit this, alter the table, add a telephone column here. Telephone. Then, for car, say 255. Save. So, every step is done. So, what, what's left now is to test if it's really going to save our new column or new uh, field. So, we're going to refresh this part and then let's register some somebody. So, I'm going to register my daughter. So, let's say... telephone number and email and password and click register all right so she is now registered and is automatically logged in so it means everything runs smoothly so how to verify if the telephone number is really saved we simply go to our database and do a query there you notice she is added and that there is now a telephone number email and password so that is how easily you can modify your Laravel app to add fields to your registration page basically it's the same uh, it's the same process if you're going to modify of uh, any view or any forms okay so my next video tutorial will be on how to uh, create a view that will uh, process your for example let's create a dashboard view for the existing user so, so good luck with your learning and thank you for viewing